Hi, this is Michael from Southern Fire Guitarist, and in a recent video, I was asking for some tips or suggestions on what to do with some strange sized cigar boxes I had and how I could turn those into really cool cigar box guitars. In this video, I'm dealing with one of those boxes now. Here's a clip from that other video. Now, when I saw this next box, I almost started laughing. This right here is a cigar box. It is a Rocky Patel The Edge box and still smells like cigars. It's 17 inches long and it's really cool. This part opens, gosh, I can't even hold the thing. <laughs> this bottom piece opens right there. Kind of cool. Well, that's a pretty odd shaped box. So let me show you what I have planned for that box. Now, some people might say if you're doing videos, you should do it in a very quiet place. Well, I don't have one of those. I do a lot of my video footage outside and you're gonna hear birds, you're gonna hear chickens, dogs, roosters, turkeys. Guy over here's got horses. You never know what you're going to hear. Oh, and Buster, he's always barking. Huh. So I guess with my videos, you get a bonus. You get the sounds of nature. Now, Buster, if you're a good boy today and you don't bark, I'll play your favorite song on my cigar box guitar later. Well, I now have dog hair all over my shirt. His name is Buster, but I think we should have named him Harry because, well, he's Harry. Well, here is that big Rocky Patel box here. Now, I have been working on it a little bit. I've been sanding it down a little bit because these boxes are very rough all over. There you go. Now, this piece here used to open. It opened down like this. This label was on the inside because I guess it was used as some type of display with the lid up like that, and the bottom would open with the with the name on the inside. Well, I took this piece off and I switched it around so the name could be on the outside like that. And what I'm going to use with this box, I'll give you a hint. Those are my starting components. Well, I finished putting all my cuts in this big cigar box. Now let me show you where I'm at with it right now. Now I'm building this on a 25 inch scale and this is my neck block right here. And I will have a tail piece right here on the outside. That's what all these oak pieces are glued in there for. Over here, I'm gonna put two cool sound hole covers there. That's going to look awesome. I have the next slot all cut out. And here is the lid right there. Of course my bowl will go, go here. I cut these nice F holes. I'm going to put a hot rail pickup here. Also a piezo under the bowl a volume and tone and a three-way switch between the piezo pickup and the hot reel humbucker. It's coming along really good. I can't wait to get this thing finished. Awesome. Now the way I'm envisioning this neck is I got a hold of some beautiful pieces of maple. So I'm going to make the neck and the heel out of maple and I'm thinking maybe a walnut and oak multi-wood fretboard. And I think it's going to look beautiful. Stay tuned. I just want to take one moment and thank everybody for stopping by and watching these Cigar Box Guitar videos that I post here on YouTube. I want to thank you for the comments, the emails, the kind words, the support, and everything like that. But... If you're not a subscriber, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Please, don't go. 
If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button now so you don't miss any of these cool cigar box guitar videos. Well, it's time now to reveal the finished guitar, which I'm going to call the Big Dog Daddy Dog Ball Resonator. Well, here it is, the Big Dog Daddy Dog Ball Resonator. I think it came out beautiful. Tell you a little bit about it. Those are the sink, sink drains for the sound hole covers there. I distressed those. Here is the spatula that I made into the tailpiece. Volume tone and the three-way switch there. Now one thing I did do different than my original plan was instead of the hot rail pickup, I changed it to a top of the box humbucker pickup instead, which I think looks great and sounds good as well. I put a nice finish on the box and I did do the maple neck with the maple heel and the walnut and oak multi-wood fretboard. And what's really cool is in the oak pieces, which is on the 3, 5, and 12, I put walnut dot markers in here. And on the walnut areas of the frets, I put maple dot markers. And there's plastic black side dot markers. And let me flip it around here. I did leave the writing on the outside. So you will definitely know it is a cigar box. I have strap buttons there and over here. Awesome. Now I'm going to plug it in so we could hear how that humbucker sounds. Here are the settings on the Vox Mini 5 Rhythm Amp. And I'm also using this cordless guitar, receiver, and transmitter. Now this was built on a 25 inch scale and I do have it tuned to an open G. Uh, let's try the humbucker pickup first, which is the first position on the selector switch all the way to the front. Now just the piezo under the bowl.
Well, I think this big dog daddy dog bowl resonator came out awesome. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Cigar box guitars, they are more than just a stick in a box. Link below. From the backwoods, my name is Michael, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.